what do living things need in order to survive? You might be thinking, blue skies, clear oceans, green forests. Well, that wasn't the shape of our Earth 3.5 billion years ago. Actually, the skies weren't always blue. They were toxic orange, and the radiation were very heavy, thick sheets of ice. Yet, life on Earth has managed to survive. So how, you might wonder? Because of three main ingredients. Those are liquid mediums, raw materials, energy. And we will discover each one of these through this video, so follow me. The first golden standard is liquid medium. For us on Earth, it is obviously water. But astrobiologists have confirmed that ammonia and methane can easily take its place. So, why is water so important? Well, water dissolves and transparent neutrons and chemicals, and oftentimes it takes part in chemical reactions. The second golden ingredient are raw materials, or as we know it, atoms. Atoms are the building blocks of everything in this universe. And on our planet Earth, those are four organic important elements, hydrogen, nitrogen, carbon and oxygen. These four elements take part on every chemical reaction after mentioning these four important organic elements. You might wonder, how are they fueled to take part in chemical reactions? Well, the answer is energy, and that's our third main golden ingredient. On Earth, energy takes two forms. The first one is the sun, and it's for plants. For us humans, we have a method. How? Well, we break down molecules to make new molecules, we release energy to fuel our new activities, and we make new molecules to do other stuff. Understanding these three ingredients might be a good basis to start looking for life elsewhere in the universe. Recently, as we all know, a huge discovery took place, and that one is the TRAPPIST-1 planetary solar system, 39 light years away. This new discovery yet to date has introduced us to seven new planets. These planets have the same size and mass as our planet the Earth, with very close orbits around each other and very tight orbit around their main star, which is 12 times less massive than our Sun. Until now, three of them have been confirmed to be in a habitable zone. Those are TRAPPIST-1e, TRAPPIST-1g, and TRAPPIST-1f. So, who knows? Maybe one day, life can start elsewhere in this universe. This was Vidal Kasradi. Thank you for watching.